we are standing at the National Forensic Sciences University in Gandhinagar, which is one of its kind, a state of art university, which is conducting innovation, signing MOUs, engaging startups in an attempt to renovate and rehabilitate India's forensic sciences. This university staff and its students have been engaging in developing forensic sciences in India. From multiple centers of excellences in the field of digital forensics to drone forensics to forensic psychology to assisting investigating agencies like the CBI, ED, police across the country to training other police personnel in order to make them adapt to the changing world of crime, this university has emerged itself into something larger and bigger in the world of forensic sciences. The print took a tour across the university to understand its innovations and how it is trying to standardize forensic sciences in the country, cultivating indigenous products in an attempt that India's forensic pendency rate comes down. Now, this university pans across 40 acres and has around 10 campuses across the country, including the one in Gandhinagar, the foundation stone of which was laid down by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. In the last three years, this university has established its campuses in nine other states, including Guwahati, Tripura, among others. Now, five to six more campuses are coming up as NFSU says that it is focused on producing skilled manpower so that the pendency rate at the various FSL labs in the country come down. A tour across the center of various excellences at the NFSU revealed the attempts made by the university staff and its students to help rejuvenate forensic sciences and contribute in India's Make in India process. The university's campus director and its various professors spoke to us at length and showed out the various laboratories. The university claims that particularly it is excelling in the field of digital forensics, cyber forensics, drone forensics and forensic psychology. In what we saw is a complete state of art renovation of forensic sciences here in Gandhinagar. Camera is coding the facial expressions. Now these expressions are very minute which we don't know how to manipulate and that's how uh, the unmanipulated facial expressions are being um, analyzed by the system itself. On the screen, the graph is showing different types of micro expressions like uh, lip stretch, eyebrow raised, uh, lip pressing. So these type of uh, features will help us in understanding whether the person is sad, disgust, happy. We also get to know that uh, the level of involvement of an individual in the criminal act. Right. Uh, how long does the coding take to process? Coding is automatically done by the software mm. but uh, in order to get the coding we have to get some uh, standardized question done. At a time when forensic pendencies are a major concern for Indian investigative agencies and courts, this university is working towards improving and increasing skilled labor assistants and officers who are equipped with not just the knowledge of advanced forensic sciences to aid criminal cases, but also understand the importance of a standardized forensic protocol. From cyber forensics to psychological forensics to defense and narcotics forensic centers, this university in Gujarat is trying not just to innovate technology, but also produce a skilled workforce so that the country's shortage of manual labor in forensics can be brought down. Home Minister Amit Shah has reiterated in the past the need for a big push in forensics and that the center is aiming to make forensic examination compulsory and legal in all cases that warrant a punishment of more than seven years.
to tackle dependency and make this a reality the university has signed mous with various forensic labs across the country so suppose there is a crime scene and we want to present that crime scene in front of the court uh, in front of the judge now judge cannot go and visit crime scene so what we can do we can use this camera which is 360 degree camera we can record the entire crime scene get it converted on the virtual reality based system and the judge can wear this system and see how the crime scene look like and from where the evidences are collected so while collecting evidences also the crime scene management process the standard operating procedure we can go with the camera we can do our uh, crime scene management process and everything will get recorded and the same thing will be presented in front of the court so it reduces the chances of manipulation of the evidences present uh, to be presented in front of the judges are all of these gadgets equipments available with fsls and police located to those are only available here? no it is only available here but we have a provision to provide these facilities to all so those who want to send their cases or who want to do research work or want training uh, nfsu has got the mandate to train them and if required cases can also be taken and our case reports are uh, acceptable in court led voice analysis is used to understand the variation in the voice so when questions are asked at that time the answers given by the subject is the manipulated one deceptive or the person is thinking and responding to the questions sometimes the person is also under stress because of which he is answering questions and on the spot the system will tell us that the person is under stress he is manipulating his responses or the answer given by the person is truly a lie and deceptive these are the factors on which we get the score to understand the level of stress which can uh, help us in understanding the level of lie said by the person system measures the brain activation and it helps us in understanding the level of participation in the criminal act by the suspect so suppose a suspect who is a so called suspect of a murder case now whether he has committed murder or not and what was the process of commitment of that crime that we try to get an understanding through this system now a person who has committed crime the entire case related activity memory is stored in the person's brain so only his brain can retrieve the exact information about the criminal act so from here we add gel to the subject through the cap which is connected with 32 electrodes now these electrodes are connected with the amp an amplifier which amplifies the brain activation and that is being shown on the system that side It started as the Gujarat Forensic Science University in 2009 and in 2020 it was accorded the status of a central university. In the last 3 years NFSU has established 9 campuses and 5 more will be coming up in the next couple of years. Now from studying handwriting patterns to analyzing the spo- now from studying handwriting patterns to analyzing the source of drugs to assisting agencies in recreating crime scenes. almost everything under the sun is being done here at nfsu international guidelines required for the analysis of narcotics drugs and psychotropic substances here we are using the latest and the modern technology for the analysis Rep- reporting well in time following all the statutory provisions and international like first thing is that we are the first center which is working on the quantification of drugs although it is not amended but we are developing gradually a facility to d- identify not only to identify but to determine how much the quantity of a drug is present in a particular mixture apart from that we are working on the source identification of the drugs it will assist to the law enforcement agencies for the to understand the scenario of the trafficking from the point of view of scientific work
Recently, NFSU not only supplied mobile forensic vans to the Delhi police, but also trained the capital's personnel in using the multiple kits. Rape test kit, mini digital forensics kit, voice analysis and identification of fingerprints kit. It also trained them in determining injury patterns, gunshot wounds, as well as in storage of samples from crime scenes without contamination. How your university is emerging as a state of art university and what sets it apart from the rest of the forensic sciences institutions in the country? Okay. Uh, as you know that uh, nowadays the crime has become more complicated and criminals are using more advanced technologies for committing the crime and it is getting difficult to trace the evidences of criminals. So there is a need of forensic science, there is a science of uh, investigation of crime in scientific way. So this university was established with the objective to create skilled manpower to investigate and prevent crimes in the country as a whole and uh, in uh, other countries also. The university uh, is into academic research training and consultancy. Training program for the police officers of other countries and around 70 countries of the world are taking part in various training programs. In spite of the high crime rate because of the changing world, because we are developing each day, every day, it lags behind and there is such a high pendency in terms of forensics. And here I am talking about in terms of crime, like per case is taking a lot of time to be handled because either the uh, samples have got uh, contaminated lying down in the police malkana or because uh, charge sheets are not being able to be filed in terms of victims of sexual violence or crimes because of the delay in forensics. See, uh, now the technology has uh, created a lot of uh, supports as well as a lot of problems for us. The criminals are using latest technologies for uh, committing the crimes. And sometimes the crimes are so complicated it is very difficult to get the information. So we have to create some technologies and experts to investigate the crimes. Uh, as you rightly told that, so the, the pendency uh, in the forensic science laboratory uh, is reducing day by day but now it is the because of not only uh, the lack of skilled manpower but the lack of uh, additional infrastructure which required so now government of india has decided to establish lot of new laboratories and strengthen the departments even the university has developed mobile forensic and which will be given to each district of the country so the laboratories will be more there then technology will be available and the university is creating skilled manpower they will be provided to the laboratories so that their pendency level will be reduced drastically From individual forensics, we have multiple segments ranging from computer forensics to mobile forensics to IIT forensics and other kind of incident response management which can occur in national as well as state level as well as private level. from assisting the Delhi police in recreating the crime scene in the Anjali Singh Kanjawala murder case that took place on New Year's Eve in the national capital to assisting the other investigating agencies in terms of terrorism, explosives, narcotics and psychotic substances. NFSU is all over even in training police personnel that have been recruited new in the services. With Praveen Jain, this is Bismita Skin reporting for The Print from Gandhinagar in Gujarat.